How do meteorites like this one get officially confirmed and classified? This is part one of a series where I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at that process. Right here, I have a new grouping of stones that I purchased from a meteorite hunter in Morocco. These were recovered nearby in Mali in 2024, and altogether they weigh around three kilograms with the biggest stone coming in at a little north of 850 grams. Now, this is a bit of an interesting pickup because it's not entirely clear what type of meteorite I have. The dealer sold it to me thinking it was a mesosiderite, which is a type of meteorite that comes from two asteroids that smashed into each other, one primarily being metal and the other primarily being rock, so it all gets mixed together. However, when I look closer, I started to suspect that this stone might actually be a palisite, which is actually material from the mantle of a single differentiated asteroid or a protoplanet. That's a big difference, and I want to get a definitive answer, but that'll involve some time and expense. So, why go through all that effort? Well, first, classification gives the stone scientific value. It becomes a part of the permanent record, and researchers around the world can study it. They can review its composition in the Meteoritical Bulletin and request a type sample from the repository where it's classified for further research. Second, it helps establish its identity and rarity, which adds to its commercial value should I decide to sell part of it. Finally, I think it's just part of the responsibility of being a meteorite collector when you encounter a rare form of meteorite. It's making sure that these finds are available for science and not just sitting on a shelf somewhere. With all that said, here's the path this stone will take towards classification. I've already sent some pictures to a classifier I've worked with before, and he also thought the stone was interesting and wants to go through the process with it. I'll send the sample to the classifying scientist at the lab, and they'll assess the mineralogy and chemistry of the sample, make conclusions about its type, and recommend a classification to the International Society for Meteoritics and Planetary Science, which publishes the Meteoritical Bulletin Database, which is our open and official record of classified meteorites. Eventually, that submission, uh, should it be approved, will appear in that public database for anybody to search and look at. While the long part of this meteorite's journey is over, it's still got some distance to cover here on Earth. In the next video, I'll talk about sending the stone in for analysis and eventually show you some of the output of that analysis, including videos from inside the lab itself. Make sure to follow for part two.